Welcome back to the Zoom Playground. I'm Betsy Sabatini, and today we're diving into a topic that's essential for staying connected while doing business virtually. And many of you have asked for this topic to be covered for helping your meeting participants as well. So let's take a look at how to update your Zoom. But before we get started, let's quickly discuss why updating your Zoom is so important. Outdated versions of Zoom can lead to glitches, security vulnerabilities, and mis opportunities for new features. By updating regularly, you'll ensure that your Zoom experience is secure, efficient, and equipped with the latest tools. So how do you update your Zoom? Well, stick around as I walk you through these simple and easy steps. Now let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tips. Let's get started. So there are two ways to update your Zoom application. One way is from the Zoom desktop application. Now this application is installed locally on your computer. If you're on a Mac computer, you'll find it in your dock. Just look for the Zoom icon. And if you're in a Windows computer, just look in your taskbar. Again, you'll find the Zoom icon there. If you do not see it along the bottom of your screen, you can look anywhere on your desktop or you can look in your applications folder. But this application has been installed on your computer once before, most likely if you've ever attended or hosted a Zoom meeting. So now you're gonna look in the upper right corner where you see your profile picture. And if you don't see your profile picture, it's because you're not logged in. You wouldn't even be seeing these buttons at this point. And you'll see that screen that asks you to log in or sign in. And so once you do that, then you'll see this screen. When you click in that upper right corner, you see how the menu reveals some options and then look right towards the middle. There it is. Check for updates. You're going to go ahead and click there. Now, as of this recording, your current Zoom version should be 5.17.11. If it is not, then at this point in watching this video, if you are following along on your own computer, then you are being prompted at this time that there is a new update available. And then just follow along with the prompts. It'll tell you to click next and then install. And it might even log you out at one point, which is perfectly fine. And then once you sign back in again, you'll be good to go. And you'll want to do this actually every time before you even attend a Zoom meeting or host a Zoom meeting. It's really what I prefer you do because some features come out sometimes once a month this happens, sometimes even more frequently. Now, the second way to update your Zoom application is from the Zoom website. Now, let's take a look there. To update your Zoom application from the Zoom website, go to your browser and go to the zoom.us website as shown here. Scroll all the way down, all the way down till you get to this bottom section. And notice in that second column where it says download, the first option says Zoom app. Go ahead and click there. This will bring up Zoom's download center. And there's all kinds of things you can download if you're don't just want the Zoom app. You can download resources for integrating with your Microsoft Outlook program. You can get Zoom tools for Chrome, for instance, if you want Zoom to work with your Google Calendar. And those are all listed here in the download center. What we're doing is at the very top is downloading the Zoom workspace desktop app. A lot of words but that's what we want here. And so the blue button there is what you want where it says download. And it, see how it says right there? As of this recording, it's version 5.17.11. And there it is. So this is going to get it from the Zoom website and download. So that just means it's going to save it from their website into your downloads folder on your local computer. So whatever computer you're doing this on right now, as you're watching this recording, you're going to need to do this again on any other computer that needs to be updated. So when you go ahead and click the blue button to download, notice somewhere in your browser, I'm using Safari at this time. And in the upper right corner, there is a down pointing arrow and it gives me the status of the download. Firefox tends to do it in the same location. Sometimes Chrome will show that in the bottom corners. No matter where, once your download is complete, you're going to go to your downloads folder and then double click the program from there. 
So it will be listed in your downloads folder. And then once you run it, it will be installed. Once the Zoom desktop app has been successfully downloaded, it will appear in your downloads folder. Now for this demonstration, I'm on a Mac computer. And so this is your finder. And you can see on the left-hand side there, I'm looking at the downloads folder. It's what's highlighted. If you're on a Windows computer, you're gonna go to your Windows, your file explorer. And that's that yellow folder icon at the bottom of your computer screen. And when you go there, it's very similar to this, where you see the downloads folder indicated on the left-hand sidebar. And when you click there, you'll see listed on the right-hand side, the very first file, because it was the last one in, is that Zoom US installer. And that's what you're looking for. Notice that on a Mac computer, they end in PKG. It's, it's, this is considered an application that you just downloaded. And so on a Mac, it's called a package or a PKG. And on a Windows computer, it'll end in EXE for executable. How about that? When you go ahead and double click, it will run that program. And that's exactly what you need to do at this point is to double click it and wait for your computer to prompt you that this program is not only running, but it's installing. And so it'll look something like this, where it'll say install Zoom, and then you're just gonna click continue or next, and then install. You're just gonna follow along until it's completed. And then, like I said earlier, it may ask you to log out. It may log you out without asking. And all you have to do is sign back into your Zoom account and you're good to go. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you are still here with me at the end, then you must be really interested in Zoom and what it can do for you and your business. Well, lucky for you, I have free resources that you should definitely take a look at. These free downloadable checklists and guides guarantee that your Zoom is set up for success before your meeting even starts. For more information, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and watch the next one. Again, I'm Betsy Sabatini. I'm your Zoom expert and tech educator. See you next time.